Money is just a consequence. I always say to my team, don't worry too much about profitability. If you do your job well, the profitability will come. Can you say that in 20 years people would still use the iPhone? Maybe not. Maybe we'd have a new product or something more innovative. What I can say today is that, in 20 years, I'm quite convinced that people will still drink Dom Perignon. What I love is to win. What I love is being number one. When I took over Louis Vuitton, everyone said, it's already so big, what more can you do? And since then, we've multiplied that success tenfold. From time to time, the Vienna Philharmonic could play without a conductor because they are so good. I am and will remain a tax resident in France and in this regard I will, like all French people, fulfill my fiscal obligations. Once we decided to do a tower in New York, it had to say something about our group, reflecting the mix of modernity and creativity in our organization, it's a symbol. It's true that I am not from the South and I have a certain reserve. I take time to get close to, and I don't immediately throw my arms around someone. But it is more a question of style. Oh, I was brought up in the north of France, and I had a very enjoyable childhood with my family working as entrepreneur. In the luxury business, you have to build on heritage. Steve Jobs once asked me for some advice about retail, but I said, I am not sure at all we are in the same business. Louis Vuitton, the world's biggest luxury brand in terms of sales, is planning to dampen its expansion worldwide and focus on high-end products to preserve its exclusive image. I deal with creativity all the time. What I have fun with is trying to transform creativity into business reality all over the world. To do this, you have to be connected to innovators and designers but also make their ideas livable and concrete. I've always been pleased with the investments I've made with my friend Albert Frere and I regret not having followed him more, because I would have been a lot richer. What made Louis Vuitton famous was the quality. We don't do marketing. We just create products which are exceptional in their design and craftsmanship. In business, I think the most important thing is to position yourself for long term and not be too impatient which I am by nature, and I have to control myself. I meet the designers very often, we discuss the products, they show me their ideas, we discuss the ad campaigns and every new invention that we can find for the future. The person who I admire most in business is Warren Buffett. He is a long-term investor and has brilliant ideas, and he sticks to them. It's very important that when you have a designer like Mark Jacobs, who is a genius, you give him complete freedom. When I was working in my first job engineering construction, what I liked the most was working with architects and making buildings that had this creative side coming from the architect and that were making them a big success. I would never diminish the quality of Hermes. Hermes can be an even rarer and greater quality business, if they ever wanted to work with us. I take time to get close to, and I don't immediately throw my arms around someone. I'm more concerned about Mark Jacobs than the US president. Mastering the paradox of star brands is very difficult and rare, fortunately. We are really very lucky to have so many fantastic brands. But to grow them we should not be too much in a hurry. They are growing fast, but they have to grow accordingly to the market and to the capacity we have to deliver good products. When you are on the management side, you still have to understand the artistic sensibility so that there is a dialogue with the creative side. You have to be just as mistrustful of straightforward rationality in business as you do of a uniquely gut approach. People think of politicians having true power, 
but that's less and less true. After all, they are often constrained or being edged into a corner by a whole series of contingencies.